Uh, I'm not going to make anybody else read questions from my book um, unless I choose to later. <laughs> Actual questions, I'd be happy to answer them. Yes, sir? Um, I really Orange like beard? Yeah. <laughs> um, I was, um, <laughs> Uh, the question was, where did I get my suit? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it's a three-piece corduroy suit. I'll tell you about that more later. But what I'd really like to talk about is the radio and television correspondents. <laughs> that was a really big part of my life. You know, it was a huge turning point and a surprising thing to happen in my life. And it's not just a superficial question about my wardrobe, so. <laughs> I'd just like to steer it that way, okay, Gingerbeard? <laughs> um, what the red-headed leak knows is that, <laughs> why am I doing this? <laughs> because I'm rusty, I'm rusty. This is my first reading in, I think, seven months or something, I'm really, Rusty, kind of like you, actually. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'll just, I'll just find some other guy to pick on. Um, as some of you may know, I uh, spoke at the Radio and Television Correspondents Awards Dinner last June, uh, which is not the same thing as what Stephen Colbert did, which is the White House Correspondents Dinner, which is considered by some to be somewhat more prestigious, and that is why the Radio and Television Correspondents Awards Dinner is called the Nerd Junior Prom, <laughs> as opposed to the Nerd Prom, which is the White House one. Uh, but still, pretty, uh, a pretty amazing event with, uh, with the president sitting right there. And um, it was really, um, it was really kind of, it, it drops, your stomach drops out of your body in an embarrassing way uh, when you see the President of the United States because you just don't imagine that it's real, uh, that that's actually the guy, that, um, uh, you know, that the, the one fellow in the world who belongs to that most, currently belongs to that most sort of uh, exclusive of secret societies, you know, and um, <laughs> with the strangest of handshakes. <laughs> um, but, uh, but it was good, you know, I was, so I was very nervous about it. And so I had the whole speech more or less prepared, and they brought me up pretty early on to the side of the stage. And um, when I am sort of thinking through what I'm going to say, I often kind of um, pace around like this. I think you know what pacing is, right? But I'll still. This is why I was doing this just long. Um, the nerd versus the job, blah, 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 Mr. President, this, that, the other, the talking, whatever. And you can imagine that lots of uh, members of the Secret Service found that very unnerving. And so it wasn't long before a man came up to me, he had your piece uh, in, and he kind of came up to me and said, you know, um, my boss would really appreciate it if you stopped doing that <laughs> and just stood still. And I said, uh, okay, that's perfectly reasonable. And I was like, oh boy, I'll just stand still. And then I started thinking, that guy's not doing his job very well. <laughs> I mean, if he thinks that I am a risk to the president, stopping me from pacing isn't going to stop the risk. I'm still, I'm still gonna get within five feet of him. Do you know what I mean? Um, and so, uh, and, and, and indeed I did. And um, it, was a, it was a lovely dinner, you know, we were served beef wellington. The president was, I don't know what the president was eating, some native cuisine of whatever country he comes from, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> and I talked to him about, about nerds and, and jocks and, and asked him whether he was truly a nerd. And in, in a lot of ways, um, it was my, my formulation of, of nerddom versus jockdom which I discussed, and you can all check the internet now if you want a, 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 a little primer on that, um, was derived from something I had written for this book, but which no one ever saw, because uh, inside uh, the hardcover edition, this is what makes it so incredibly valuable and hardcore, um, inside the, uh, 
the, what do you call this, Sean? Dust no, Sean, what do you call it? <laughs> dust jacket? It's the loudest I've ever heard him speak. Thank you, Sean. Inside the dust jacket was this taxonomy of complete world knowledge that broke down all of world knowledge into groupings, uh, including jock versus nerd. And so um, in the new edition, we make it a lot more conspicuous so that you can find it right in here. And it folds out like this. And then once it's folded out, you can't ever get it back in again. <laughs> <laughs>